Hi, and welcome to Factor Opinion, the NFL's playoff pick segment brought to you by, yes, Lock Around the Clock. But since Sunday doesn't exist anymore where there's a lock around the clock all through the day, we have come to a segment called Fact or Opinion, where I'm going to give you my fact, which means bet the freaking game, or I'll give you my opinion, which means I'll give you what I think, or, well, you guessed it, my opinion. Before we get started, let's thank my good friends and sponsors at LewDogs.com. Check them out today. Get there before the playoffs. Get there for the bowl games. Get there for basketball, hockey, or anything else. Hot stove baseball at LewDogs.com. Find out information from handicappers and information from all over the world and the web about sports. And check out their free rules. It's awesome. Go to LewDogs.com today. Yes, we are in beast mode. I am in playoff mode. And I know the Seahawks aren't playing, but I'm getting geeked up because as a Raider fan, I get geeked up every year to watch Seattle. It's my adopted foster team, if you will. And they're exciting to watch, and they're going to the Super Bowl this year. We'll talk about that more next week. But this week, we're going to get the fact or opinion. I'm going to give you a fact, which means bet it, or I'm going to give you my opinion, which is basically my opinion on all of the games coming up on Wild Card Weekend. Let's start off with the first game, which is Kansas City visiting Indianapolis. Now, Indianapolis has gone to Kansas City, the second toughest stadium to play in an arrowhead next to Seattle on the 12th man, and they went in there and beat them handedly. This game is going to come down to not the running games, but the quarterback, and who has the ability to win this game? Alex Smith, who have the Chiefs beaten this year to really get to where they were? Well, they beat Cleveland, they beat the Oakland Raiders twice, uh, they beat Jacksonville, they beat Houston, they beat Tennessee, they beat the Giants, they beat teams that are freaking horrible, and you know who they lost to? They've lost to, let's see, Denver twice, they lost to the San Diego Chargers twice, and they lost to Indianapolis, all teams in the playoffs, and one of them they're going to travel to, to play in the Indianapolis Colts. The Colts are giving two and a half in this game, and yes, they have found Trent Richardson. Him and Donald Brown are going to be able to do wonders on the ground, and then you got Andrew Luck, who has gotten T.Y. Hilton going, and the rest of that offense. And the defense has been lights out. They've been playing great. Their turnover margin is awesome. And guess what? The Chiefs are going to be without a couple of defensive players like Tamba Ali. And guess what? Their team has not been very good down the stretch. They've rested players. They do not look like they want to go into the playoffs and kick ass. Indianapolis looks like they do. And they own them, the Chiefs, in the playoffs. The Chiefs have not won a playoff game since 1993 when Joe Montana was there. Take the Colts, lay the two and a half. That is a fact. All right, now, New Orleans at Philly. I'm going to give you my opinion on this game. I like New Orleans. Yeah, I know they're a bad out, uh, road team, and they're not that great outdoors, especially in bad weather, which Philly is going to have. And they're only getting two and a half, but guess what? Philly has looked great. LaShawn McCoy has looked tremendous. But I think this is New Orleans' chance to, to do something here and to prove something. They do have Drew Brees. They do have an awesome offense. Their tight ends, their wide receivers, they have everything there. And I think they have a complimentary running game with something that the Philadelphia Eagles don't have, which is really good defense. And I'm sure Rob Ryan will have that defense tuned up to take care of things on Sunday, uh, Saturday rather, in the second game. Take New Orleans. That's my opinion. I like the Saints. San Diego at Cincinnati getting seven. My opinion, yes, I like San Diego. I like San Diego in this game because they've been playing very well down the stretch. I know Cincinnati has been a two. Uh, they are 8-0 at home. They play tremendously. Now, I'm not saying San Diego is going to win, but they're getting seven. And in my opinion, that's enough to cover San Diego plus the seven. That's my opinion. San Francisco at Green Bay. How does a team like San Francisco with their record go to Green Bay? Green Bay wins the division. It's the Seattle syndrome. It happened a couple of years ago when New Orleans had to go out there with that 12 and 4 record and get dismantled by Marshawn Lynch and that 8 and 8 team or 7 and 9 team. I forget what they were at the time. Anyway, San Francisco's laying three in this game. I kind of like them. That's an opinion. The fact is, the score in this game is going to be tremendous. The over under is 47 in this game. It's going to be clear. It's going to be very cold. Don't get me wrong, but it's all going to be a low. Nine mile an hour, suppose allegedly nine mile an hour wind. There's not going to be any kind of weather conditions. This is a game that Sam Fran can really dominate in. The defense of the Packers has been ranked 30th, 31st down the stretch. They've been horrible all year. I know they have Aaron Rodgers back, which is why I like the over, because they will put up a few points, no doubt about it, probably about 21. But look for Colin Kaepernick, Frank Gore, 
look for this team with Anquan Bolden and Vernon Davis to just destroy the defense of the Green Bay Packers and take the total going over 47. That's the fact, Jack. And if you like that, take it to the book, take it to the bank, and until next week when we start the next round, you're taking ace!